sorry i was trying to think of a really cool intro to do like a lot of these youtubers and that was the uh that was that that was it what is up youtube i'm here with a different type of video i normally don't do reaction videos and i've never done one for uh tom mcdonald if you guys all know tom mcdonald he's kind of a controversial type rapper he has plenty of other songs too i actually just bought all of his albums including his uh uh, collab album but with uh, Nova Rockefeller and Brandon Hart. It's amazing. You guys should check it out. I'm going to link everything in the description, including this song, because if you guys want to watch it without interruptions, obviously, because it's going to be my reaction. I'm going to be interrupt uh, interrupting it and commenting on it as I go along. But if you guys want to see the full song uninterrupted, it is in the description below. If you guys want to support this channel, if you would be so kind to hit that like button, slap that subscribe button, and slap the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. I normally don't do reaction videos. Um, but I'm open to it. I want to do more, so leave a comment of uh, something else you want me to react to. Could be another one of Tom's videos or whatever, a commercial, another music video. I'm open to it. I like the concept of reaction videos. I've never done one myself, but I'm like, if I, for my very first reaction video, why not be Tom McDonald? You know, he's the man. He's awesome. I love his music, and we're going to dip right into it right now without further ado. If you lie to the government, they'll put you in prison. But when they lie to all of us, it's called being a politician. You think taking right. guns away will save our kids from the killings? But you're pro-choice. Abortion kills way more children. If America's so terrible and rape That's 100 percent true. Abortions kill uh way more people than guns do. Or children rather, whatever you want to word it. That's 100 percent true. Obviously, I'm gonna you know, I'm a gun guy. Uh, I think we need more guns on the streets. I think more people should arm themselves. And everybody of all uh, races and backgrounds, you should arm yourself. Get a gun. Get trained with it. Learn how to use it. Protect yourselves and your family. Get a gun. No choice. Abortion kills way more children. If America's so terrible and racist, it probably isn't safe to encourage immigration. Just saying, all the contradictions are Girl. embarrassing. I mean, they want to have uh, open borders with the new uh, administration, tell everybody to come on down here, uh, which is crazy. Why do they want to come down here? If we're so racist, we're so horrible and sexist and a bunch of Nazis. Why would people want to come here? The only people that think that are the people in America, because every single person in America is privileged. You know, we live in a great, amazing, the best in human history country. And look, you're always going to deal with some racist, some horrible people, but we are the least racist, most multicultural accepting country in the history of mankind. There is no close second. That's why people want to come here. They see that this is the uh, the land of opportunity and they, they see the beauty of America. That's why they want to come here and I don't blame them. Because so terrible and racist, it probably isn't safe to encourage immigration. Just saying, all the contradictions are embarrassing. You know who hates America the most? Americans. Trigger warnings used to be on TV for seizures. And now they're everywhere to protect millennials' feelings. He, she. I actually used to deal with seizures. I don't anymore. I don't take my medication anymore, but I haven't had a seizure in forever. But, uh, it's true. But you really don't see this anymore. Now the trigger warnings, like if you watch Disney+, Plus, it's always, uh, this this cartoon, Peter, it's Peter Pan. I put put that on the other day because uh, my... Uh, I like to leave TV on for my dog. He likes noise. They're like, oh, this uh, this was wrong then, and it's it's wrong now. And instead of removing our content, we're going to leave it there. But Peter Pan's racist. It's pathetic. Americans. Trigger warnings used to be on TV for seizures. And now they're everywhere to protect millennials' feelings. He, she, his, him, hers, them, they. Screw a pronoun. Because everyone's a retard these days. <laughs> You're preaching at the protest. <laughs> hang, on, hang, on, hang, on, hang on. Is that freaking Blair White? And you go back. At the protest that hatred's the problem. But hating straight men, white. Hang on, wait, go hers, them, right. they. Screw a pronoun. Because everyone. Yeah, that's Blair right. <laughs> that's awesome. I did not know uh, she was going to be in there. That's all. For seizures, awesome. and now they're everywhere to protect millennials' feelings. He, she, his, him, hers, them, they screw a pronoun. Cause everyone's a retard these days. Right. Here I'm preaching True. at the protest that hatred's the problem. But hating straight men, white folks, and Christians is common. Coca-Cola telling people they should be less white. They preach intolerance, but if you disagree, they fight. There's a race war here. Elections based. For anybody who doesn't know, Coca-Cola did this um uh whiteness test or whatever it was to see how white you are and try to teach you how to be less white. Um, which shows that Coca-Cola focuses on nothing other than race. That's all they care about. That's all they're obsessed about. Uh, Coca-Cola is a racist, woke, stupid-ass, retarded company. I now do not drink Coke. I drink Pepsi. Actually, I really don't drink Pepsi that much anymore because I'm trying to stay away from soda. But yeah, people, uh, companies like Coca-Cola, they're obsessed with the race. That's all they think about 24-7. They don't give a shit what kind of person you are. They don't judge you off of your character they judge you off the skin color that is all you are to them it's anti-white racism it's a real thing i'm so glad uh tulsi gabber said it she's awesome i don't agree with everything she says but 
She's one of the first people to say it. It's common. Coca-Cola telling people they should be less white. They preach intolerance, but if you disagree, they fight. There's a race war here. Elections based on fear. Black lives only matter once every four years. Soldiers mm. died for this country, and every one of us benefits. Could well That's right. Um, Black Lives Matter only comes out of the hole when it uh, benefits them. Because, uh, you know, I don't know what uh, the uh, members think, but the leaders just want to get rich. That's all they care about. They've proven that, and they stepped down because of that, because they've got caught. They've bought uh, million-dollar mansions and all this stuff. All their money just goes to politicians that make uh, life worse for uh, black lives. They don't give a shit about lives. They want to make money, and they've done that. They've made millions and billions of dollars. I always said millions and billions, but now I sound like Trump. But that's all BLM is. These leaders, they just they just want the money. They don't actually give a damn about any of these uh, black lives dying. They certainly don't care about all these little kids dying every single day in places like Chicago. Uh, somebody from, uh, I believe it's uh, Newsmax, does a segment every night where they go over a little kid who uh, got shot by gang violence or something like that it happens way too often it makes me sick to my stomach i hate seeing that but it is a ugly truth that uh blm ignores they ignore that because they only care about the deaths that can help them push their political agenda and make them more money that is it there's a, to a huge difference between supporting the blm organization and saying a black person's life matter because obviously a black person's life matters that's like saying oxygen matters you know nobody would say it doesn't that's why i do not support blm i think they're a horrible corrupt money grubbing freaking hate group that's all they are the total difference between that and saying a black person's life matter just throwing that out there Four years, soldiers died for this country, and every one of us benefits. Give welfare to the bums and forget about the veterans. Black folks and white folks oh, divided just, by the. I missed that line. Let me get back real quick. Died for this country, and every one of us benefits. Give welfare to the bums and forget. Veterans die for this country, and everybody benefits. That is true. It doesn't matter if you're white, black, gay, straight, or some kind of have these. Uh, men and women put their lives on the line to give us these freedoms who fought in World War II, fought in all the wars today, still fighting today. People have served or are serving. We can never thank you enough for your service. We have all these privileges and all that because of you. And people take it for granted. We live in the greatest country in the world, and it's all because of these people who fight for the flag, who fight for the freedom, for what that flag stands for. We owe everything to them. Country and every one of us benefits. Give welfare to the bums and forget about the veterans. Black right. folks and white folks divided by the news. But we are all the same. We are red, white, and blue. Ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool. Because honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. Y'all are so <laughs> fake. I love that. Yeah, anybody who hates America, who despises America... We don't like you either. We live in the greatest country. We live in the least racist, most multicultural accepting country in the history of mankind. I've said it before. I'll say it again and again and again. America is a great country. And we owe it all to the people who uh, put their lives on the line fighting for our freedom. And I want to go back real quick to something Tom McDonald just said. Black folks and white folks divided by the news. But we are all the same. We are red, white, and blue. A shame. Yeah, that's right. We are divided by the news. The news media is uh, exists no other reason tend to uh keep us divided to keep us angry keep us pissed off because that gets them views that gets them money and that is all they care about they don't give a shit if you're white or black they just want to keep everybody angry pissed off they take these fake news stories and blow them up shame the news divides people more than any other source just like uh, tom just said we are red white and blue i've been raised to treat people how they should be treated as in there are decent people uh decent human beings in this world and they're indecent human beings in this world that is it i don't give a shit about your skin color that it means absolutely nothing to me i can't emphasize that more it means absolutely nothing i don't think it's a good thing i don't think it's a bad thing i don't think it's anything i don't care if you're a good human being you have my respect if you're not then uh probably not gonna like you too much there are bad people who are white there are bad people who are black there are good people who are white and there are good people who are black and so on and so forth hispanic asian why do i say that because it doesn't matter it, it's who you are as a person which is what martin luther king wanted he said judge by the character not by the color of their skin which were somehow going backwards or somehow freaking pissing all over uh, martin luther king's uh, uh grave with all this uh modern day racism that the left is bringing back to us sorry i ran over let's get back to the song to be American, okay, that's cool. Cause honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. Y'all are so fake. Oh no, the forecast said that there'd be snowflakes. Whoa, you can make us see it your way. No way, gasoline and pro. I like more flames. Oh no, 
think I like it better than fake woke. Okay. No more snow. Good. They yeah. set us up to fail. That's what they built the system for. Put an ammunition shop across the street from a liquor store. Mm. Empowering women used to be different than this before. The role models got OnlyFans or dance on a stripper pole. <laughs> Screw it, I ain't tripping. I don't mean to. Sorry, I mean all the biggest role models now, like Cardi B. Sorry, Cardi B is disgusting, and she's not even a good artist. She's horrible, talently good at singing. She has no talent whatsoever. So if she could at least sing or something. I'll give her a benefit of the doubt. I'm like, all right, she's kind of gross, but I mean, she does have a good voice. I will give credit where credit is due, but she's not a good artist at all. She doesn't make good music. She's horrible. She's one of the, she might be the worst artist ever in the history of music. But for some reason, people like her. They think she's good. I think she's awful. She's trash. She's a horrible uh, artist, a horrible role model for little girls. And that's what we got nowadays. We got Cardi B as the role model for girls. Empowering women used to be different than this before. The role models got OnlyFans or dance on a stripper pole. Screw it, I ain't tripping. I don't mean to be mean. But if our children are the future, then our future is bleak. They take an Adderall to focus, hit McDonald's to eat. They're addicted right. to phones and they take Xanax to sleep. They blurred the lines dividing communism and democracy. In 2021, we paint the Patriots as Nazis. The men playing women's sports get right. trophies for winning. Like, great, let's celebrate America. That's right. People who uh, just support this country, who love this country, who just wave the flag, love the flag, who say, I stand for the flag. They're labeled as racist or labeled as Nazis. Uh, they're the equivalent to Hitler. It's a shame that we've gotten like that. It's, uh, you, you know, loving this country is actually controversial now. Saying you love the flag, you love our troops, you love our police, that is controversial now. I don't know how the hell we got to it. It's horrible. We need to go back to the way we were. They blurred the lines dividing communism and democracy. In 2021, we paint the Patriots as Nazis. The men playing women's sports get trophies for winning. Like, great, let's celebrate a man for beating some women. If you're black, your life matters. You're supposed to embrace. That's right. Um, now we've gotten to the point where biological men are competing in women's sports and they're kicking their ass. I'm sorry, but it is uh, men are stronger than women overall. It's just the way it is. Uh, and they had a man, a biological man, join uh, the I believe it was the um, women's Olympics weightlifting team, and he crushed them, destroyed them. Um, it wasn't even close. And it, um, they're acting like, oh, he's the champion. This is amazing. It's like, it's not that amazing. It was some bulky dude who competed in the girls' division and freaking wrecked them. Obviously, that's going to happen. Look, if you, like, um, I know I'm getting the pronouns all wrong. So, uh, YouTube's going to hit me with a strike. Might be my last video now. Damn it, Tom McDonald. But, look, you want to switch your gender or maybe you want to dress up as a girl or whatever people are doing nowadays. You know, that's that's fine. That's If you want to do that, go ahead. But uh, there is a biological difference whether you want to believe it or not. We don't have to live in a make-believe land. I know that sounds harsh, but it's the truth. It is a make-believe land. Um, men and women are biologically different. I'm not saying one's better than the other. I'm just saying they're different, which is a fact. It's not my opinion. It's a fact. And we're going to the point where Ron DeSantis has just had that uh bill where he banned girls uh or um girls playing in boys sports boys playing girls vice versa you know he said the boys will play with the boys the girls will play with the girls and that is a controversial statement now i can't believe we got to that point we're saying boys should play with boys and girls should play with girls in sports and competitive sports that is controversial now it is ridiculous it's like michael jordan dunking on a five-year-old and saying in your face kid and, and giving michael jordan a trophy it's like it's not that great of an accomplishment dude you're black your life matters you're supposed to embrace it if you're rich or you're smart then you're probably asian if you're gay then you're <laughs> brave all of that i'm okay with but if you're white this that is true asians are doing phenomenal in this country you're supposed to embrace it if you're rich or you're smart then you're probably asian if you're gay then you're brave all of that i'm okay with but if you're white the stereotype is you are a racist blaming capitalism like right. that's the reason things that's what they said. They said, no matter what, no matter what you say, no matter what you think, if your skin color is white, you're racist. And then, um, and they're now they're throwing that out. Like everything's white supremacy. Everybody, every white is a white supremacist. They don't just don't realize yet. They don't realize that they're a racist. They are, they just don't know it. We need to bring it to their attention. Like Coca-Cola doing be less white. Because again, the left focuses on nothing but skin color. That is all they care about. They don't give a shit about your character. They don't care who you are. They focus on nothing other than your skin color. It's like Tom McDonald says in his other song, if you're white, then you're privilege guilty by association i never treat anybody differently or uh, lesser than me because of their skin color because i just don't give a shit it doesn't mean anything to me like i said before i don't think it's a good thing or a bad thing i just don't care if you're a good human being or a decent human being you have my respect some of my biggest role models growing up were black i i um i don't play sports as much anymore because my body is failing me but uh michael jordan alan iverson shaquille o'neal they're the people i looked up to growing up i wanted to be just like them and i didn't see them as a black athlete i just saw them as a good athlete i'm like they're amazing they're my role model that's who i want to be when i grow up but i'm still a racist because my skin's white guilty by association 
believe all of that I'm okay with But if you're white, the stereotype okay, the is you are a racist Blaming capitalism like that's the reason things are tough While you tweet from an iPhone and sip on a Starbucks You're supporting <laughs> what you stand against You don't right. think you are, but a Percocet in case you don't understand capitalism, like why we need it, um, you like Starbucks, you like your iPhone, you like your computer and your laptop and all that you're using. You could thank capitalism for that. That's the reason things are tough. Why you tweet from an iPhone and sip on a Starbucks. You're supporting what you stand against. You don't think you are, but a Percocet addict don't donate money to pharma. Damn, <laughs> dog. We're all Damn. afraid to speak the truth. And the more afraid we get, the more right. we hate the ones who do. You're ashamed to be American? Right. Okay, that's cool. Because honestly, we are all ashamed. Anybody who speaks the truth is hated. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, I think Tom says this in Clown World where he says um, they tell you to be yourself, but then they judge you on the internet until everybody hates you for it. And it's true. They don't actually want you to be yourself and speak the truth. They say that, but they don't mean it because the truth oftentimes is mean. Truth is harsh. And people don't like it. We get the more we hate the ones who do. You're ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool. Because honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. Get so the hell out of here. Oh no, the forecast said that there'd be snowflakes. Whoa, you can make us see it your way. The video is amazing, by the way. Gasoline and pro. It's got a shout out to Nova. Absolutely amazing job on the set and everything. It is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. We can all get along, but there's no stopping. Everybody's wrong, that's a real problem. They don't want to hear it, but they still talking. Soon enough, we running out of options. This ain't gonna end till it's in the coffin. We ain't gonna be friends till we try to squash it. I don't know how we can make amends or we drop it. Snowflakes melt when it's hot, kid. Y'all are so fake. Oh no. The forecast said that he's a lyrical genius. Whoa. Holy crap. You can Amazing. make us see it your way. No way. Gasoline and propane. More flames. Oh no. No more snowflakes. That was amazing. He <laughs> hikes it off stage. Hangover gang. Hangover gang. Damn. That was amazing. Well, there you guys have it. Uh, Snowflakes by Tom McDonald. That was an amazing song, amazing set. Shout out to Nova and Tom. They do everything themselves. They're all independent. Shout out to Blair. Uh, I almost said Blair Underwood. Uh, Blair Blair White. I was just watching Fresh Prince, and they talk about Blair Underwood all the time. But shout out to Blair White. Uh, I think she's awesome. I just saw her on Tim, uh, Tim Pool's podcast. Uh, I think she's great. Tom McDonald's awesome. He has amazing songs, whether they're controversial or not. He has a lot of songs about sobriety and uh, some other stuff that's not really political or anything like that at all. I love all of his music. I'm I'm kind of a late bird to Tom McDonald. I jumped uh, jumped on the uh, Tom train, if you will, after Fake Woke. And I told my friend, I'm like, dude, I need more controversial songs. Send me some more. And he just he sent me a bunch over Discord. I'm going to look over them now and record a, more, uh, record, uh, a few more reaction videos and I'll upload them after this. You guys can wa uh, watch the video itself with no interruptions and description below uh this is my first ever reaction video to anything ever i'm sorry if it sucked i'm trying my best here um uh, it's a new thing uh if you guys have any constructive criticism let me know in the comments and uh yeah i'm i'm fine i don't get my feelings hurt easily i'm not a snowflake and also let me know in the comments if there's something you want me to react to i don't care if it's good music bad music if you think like hey i think this will be interesting to see his reaction to it slap it in the comments and the comments do help with the algorithm uh make sure you like and subscribe share hit the notification bell it helps so much more than you guys know and i greatly appreciate it if you do it uh, means a lot thank you so much um Everything will be linked in the description below, my socials and all that. You can check out my main account, which is more of a gaming. It's mostly retro gaming. I collect retro games like Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64, all that. It's just a hobby of mine, and I make videos on it. I do some other stuff, too. Like, you know, it's, it's basically a nerd-ass channel. I do comic books, and I like Marvel. I like Star Wars. I like all that. And um, it's separate from what I do on this channel, which is more political and whatnot. You guys check that all out in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun. First reaction video. It was a good time. Thank you, Tom, for an amazing song. And that is it. God bless you guys, and peace out. See you next time.